my channel may not be the biggest, but Grandma's porch. Sit down, relax, enjoy. Here on Grandma's porch. I may not have the biggest channel, but <laughs> hello, y'all. I'm Diana Brienne. Well, I'm in my uh, loungewear right now. I actually sleep in my loungewear so that when I get up. And I start my college work, as y'all know, I'm a 63-year-old college student. When I get up, I don't really have to get dressed other than brush my teeth and wash my face and just go behind the computer all day. So anyhow, I'm getting ready to go out for my five-mile run. And I may video, start videotaping again, being out on my run. Kind of gives my channel a little bit of a... Um, a diversity, I guess, in the, in the sense of being in different places. And so I thought, you know what, maybe I'll do that. And um, so anyhow, I got to thinking about, I may not be the biggest channel, but I am doing things my way. You know, all of us, um, you know, that have a channel, I believe that when we become our authentic self and our channel reflects who we are, we tend to do our very best. Now, granted, I come here every day and I stand in the kitchen, okay? And I stand in the same spot. Now, that's kind of boring, I guess, for some people, but I watch other people, um, especially like my wisdom teachers, they're always in the same spot. They never move from that spot. At least I try to move around and show you grandma's porch out here. <laughs> And so I'm doing my channel my way. My channel is primarily about my daily wisdom, my daily insights, the way I see life. And I share that with you. Now, other people, they have travel channels, cooking channels, they're in, they're in motion. And that's not exactly what I'm doing. I'm not really in motion here. I'm just kind of... Um, doing my own thing. And yes, sometimes my camera rocks and sometimes it's not in perfect, um, perfect, um, you know, standing perfect. And sometimes it makes some noise and all that. And those things I think I hope to work through. So, you know, we don't have to be the biggest channel. I think what's important is that we enjoy our journey here on YouTube, that we are having fun, that we like the content that we produce. Now, I was listening to someone yesterday on one of my channels, and they were talking about how they put butt pictures, you know, like butt, you know, pictures of the people's butts. I mean, they're fully clothed, but, you know, just people's behinds on their thumbnails, and they get a lot of views. Well, I thought, well, you know what? I could do that, too. But then that would look kind of odd because I'm about wisdom, inspiration, motivation. And if I start putting thumbnails to boost my subscribership that have butt pictures on it, I don't know. <laughs> so if you see a butt picture on one of my thumbnails, well, maybe I've kind of lost it. <laughs> Or want to gain a lot more subscribers I don't know but I thought about trying that after hearing that I mean they got like a lot more subscribers really quick so but you know my thumbnails are kind of boring um, and uh, you know I stand here in the kitchen all the time kind of boring but for some it's not boring because they love wisdom they love daily insights they love motivation they love inspiration and I'm just here doing what I do. I'm home a lot of the time because I go to school. And a lot of my time is spent behind that computer over there doing schoolwork. And when I'm not doing that, I'm off running 
or I'm off antique shopping, or I'm here cooking and being with my family. So, you know, I'm thinking about a lot of different things, but I am thinking, um, you know, I have four channels and one of them is just like a couple subscribers on it because I don't really, I haven't really done anything with it. And it's called Grandma's Adventures with Diana Brienne Fairchild. But I've got this crazy idea that I may change that title slightly in time, not right now, but in time and call it Grandma's Adventures with Jack and Diane because my husband's name is Jack and my name is Diana and some people call me Diane my mom always called me Diane my sister always called me Diane and you know I've got this long name Diana Brienne which is a first name and a lot of people in the world call me Brienne a lot some call me Brie um, some call me um, Diane some call me Diana some call me Diana Brienne I've got all these names but the Jack and Diane channel, the Grandma's Porch with Jack and Diane, would be about my husband's and my adventures. And so that would be like if we buy another motorhome. And we are in the process of beginning stages of remodeling our beach house. Now, if many of you remember in some of, if you've ever looked back upon my family videos, which I've only had this channel public, public a year, but I have all my videos I did for family and friends along the way, my little one minute videos, they were up here for about 10 years. I've been, I've had the channel 10 years and I did videos for my family and friends and I left them open to the public, but didn't tag many times, didn't title them, things like that. And so I talked a lot about our beach house and how I raised our kids were babies at the beach. We lived on the beach and I used to pull them in the wagon and we used to go full feed the seagulls on the beach every day. And that was wonderful and magical. And so we've kept our house there. And so we're thinking about remodeling it and then going down on a regular basis. And so that may be something I will incorporate, the beach life something new, something interesting, and yet I'll still be here in the kitchen sharing my daily wisdom. But I kind of want to add maybe like running to it, eventually maybe some music in the background, but it doesn't feel right to put music in the background while I'm here at home. You know what I'm saying? And maybe I'll try it in this video. I don't know. <laughs> Anyhow, do your channel your way, in my opinion. I don't give advice, I don't give suggestions, I just share with you my thoughts. And yet, I think when we are authentic and we quit worrying about how big our channel is or how many subscribers we have, and we just enjoy the journey, I think that's what's important. And so that's what this video is about. Just enjoy your channel, enjoy doing things your way, have fun, make the most of your life. Your life and your dreams don't have to look like anyone else's. You know, you may be trying to, uh, you know, copy someone else's dream and they may be trying to copy yours. You know, I got to thinking about when my children were babies, I was home all the time. But that was my dream. My dream was being a mother. And I was living my dream being a mother on the beach, you know, in our little beach house. And it was wonderful and it was magical. And so many people would have loved to have experienced that dream. Now, other people are flying around the world, sailing around the world, um, RVing around the world, um, doing so many other things. Yet, your dream doesn't have to look like theirs. Your dream could be going to Dollar Tree. <laughs> <laughs> or the dollar store. It could be, you know, taking a walk. You know, whatever your dream happens to be is what you should be. Some people want to paint and that's their dream. And so one of my dreams was to go back to college. And as you all know, I'm a college student full time at 63 years old. And um, it has its ups and downs and all of that. But I really, really do enjoy it. So that's part of my dream. And so remember, you don't want to have to copy anyone else's dreams. Um, we were watching this one channel and they were traveling all over the world in their like videos from a year or two ago. What, one time they were traveling in a motor home, one time they were flying to just different countries and renting vans and motorcycles. And you know, at first you're kind of like, oh, I, I should be doing that. I should sell my house and go off and do all this stuff. And then I thought, well, we've done a lot of that. And number two, 
um, I'm at a different stage of life. And number three, I love my home. So in other words, I want to put my dreams around my home. I don't want to um, just, you know, throw the baby away with the bathwater, so to speak. That's an idiom. Um, I don't want to do that. I want to be able to keep the dream that I have and yet make new dreams and add those dreams around the dream I have rather than throw one dream away for another dream. Does that make sense? And so for me, I just want to have fun and enjoy my life. I think life at every age should be enjoyed. And, it, you know, for me, I'm enjoying my journey with college. It got stressful there for a little bit. And I just decided, uh, uh, back up, go ahead, enjoy it, make it fun. When it's not fun, back up. And so I go out for a run. I go do something fun. And then I get back to my work. I just don't make myself sit there and be miserable um, all day for 14 hours. I take a break. I get up. I go do something else. And I make sure my life is fun. I make sure I'm rested. I make sure I'm taking care of my health. You know, um, don't attach your worth to your material things because material things can come and go. And, you know, someday they'll be somebody else's. And, you know, so you want to enjoy what you've got and you want to enjoy your life, but don't attach your worth or your identity solely around what you own or what you have. You know, someday maybe we'll sell everything and we'll go get a motorhome and we'll live out of the motorhome. I don't know. I don't know. I don't think we'll do it quite like that. I think we'll probably have a motorhome and a house, but you know, you never know. Don't base everything around what you own. Um, I believe in enjoying your experiences, create wonderful experiences, create wonderful memories with the people that you love and just go have fun. And just cause your kids are grown up doesn't mean that you can't go enjoy them or have fun with them or, you know, make them part of the adventure. I know people that took their elderly parents along with them on a motorcycle ride, you know, I mean, you know, we can incorporate, I'm not suggesting that now, but I'm just saying that we can incorporate the people that we love in our dreams often. And that's what I like to do. So anyhow, I just wanted to come on here in my loungewear today and share a few of my thoughts and your channel doesn't have to look like anyone else's and my channel may not be the biggest in the world, but that's okay. I'm just doing it my way and having fun. If my thumbnails are boring, if I don't have music in the background, if I'm not really great, you know, I don't have a drone, but you know what? I'm thinking about getting a drone. I'm thinking about getting a, um, the GoPros, you know, the ones you wear on your head when you're running and all that. I'm going to try to update myself, but I'm going to do it my way for me because it's fun. So I think I'm going to get a GoPro or maybe a couple. And um, I think I'm going to try to get into learning how to edit because I'm not good at editing. This is just like I piece this together, you know, and it's all about sharing my thoughts and my daily insights and wisdom. And you've all been very patient with my lack of editing skills. So we'll see. But if my channel's boring, it's not boring to everyone. It's just only boring to some. And so remember that you don't have to be like anyone else. Just be you. From my house to yours, may God bless you. I hope you like, share, subscribe to all four of my channels. Grandma's Adventures with Diana Brienne Fairchild. Grandma's House with Diana Brienne Fairchild. Grandma's Porch with Diana Brienne Fairchild. And my original channel, Diana Brienne Fairchild. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye. to remember.